Could this seed planting robot be key to saving the Amazon rainforest? Known as Yumi and created by ABB Robotics, it can sow about 600 seeds in a morning's work, the equivalent of two football fields in a day. Conservationists say it could be a potential game changer in efforts to preserve the world's largest rainforest in the face of illegal mining and logging. As of right now, we have lost 20% of the total land in the Amazon rainforest. Mohsin Kazmi is the CEO of the non-profit organization Jungle Keepers, which is part of a pilot project in Peru trialing the use of the robot. We're truly just protecting the thousands, if not millions of heartbeats that exist in this mega biodiverse ecosystem. Jungle Keepers took three days to transport the robot up the Las Piedras River to their base deep in the jungle in southeastern Peru. Once in place, the robot can work all day, carefully picking up seeds and using a trowel to move the soil. It's powered by solar panels and connected by solar satellite Wi-Fi for remote updates from an ABB base in Sweden. This robot is incredibly agile and it's able to plant all of our seeds for our nursery, um, freeing up our rangers to do other tasks involving the reforestation project itself. The robot is able to remove soil and plant seeds all in one box, uh, 16 at a time, and then we take that box and put it into our nursery for it to germinate. Jungle Keepers is exploring setting up larger scale robot planting facilities in local communities, which would potentially allow thousands of seeds to be planted daily, but they face an uphill struggle in their efforts. Here's why. Last year alone, about three football fields worth of virgin forest was cleared every minute, according to government data from Brazil. The deforestation is largely fueled by illegal gold mining and logging, as well as forest clearance to plant coca crops, the raw ingredient for cocaine. Loggers, so many loggers every day. You, you can't imagine how many trees goes. Jungle Keepers' Vice President Juan Julio Durand Torres is all too familiar with the issue. He used to be an illegal miner and logger himself and says it's important to use new technology and engage with the local community. The mining, the logger, they do have, at, 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 at this point, they have advanced technology. They can destroy so much. So if we have robots here to help planting trees and, and local people be involved and learning technology, it'll be, it'll be like pretty much battling together. And I think this is, this is a good aim for, for us.